that worked out fine enough. And except for the being hurt part. Let's go. Kate the Camillos, the miraculous journey of Edward. How do you pronounce his name? Tulane by Kate DiCamillo. Lots of things have happened for Kate DiCamillo too. Once there was in this house on the Egypt Street a China doll named Edward Tulane. And he was owned by a girl named Albine. And he had very good reasons to be happy too. Other than the fact that he was owned by Harleen, Abeline, Abeline, who treated him with the utmost care and adored him completely. He was also treated by everyone else as if it was a sink. He was kind of hurt by that, too. The one other thing that he loved is her grandma, who was the one who made her, who was the one who made him and brought him to life and gave him the name Edward. The Tulane was just because Albine's last name is Tulane, too. Albine named him Tulane Edward, and from then on, he became Edward Tulane. Well, from then on, almost always Edward Tulane. Most of the time, he was something else than Edward Tulane. In fact, there was this thing that happened. They're moving, they're moving, and then suddenly, one day, this strange thing seemed to happen, too. One of the things is that they were on a ship, headed back to... Um, I'm guessing wherever the ship was led to, I'm pretty sure it was, like, to the States. I guess wherever the ship was leading to, I'm pretty sure it's from, like, like, uh, England to America, because the place names in there was, like, Memphis, which is America. So I'm pretty sure if they were sailing, he would have either went straight back to America, or he would have went straight back to England, like, straight from England to America, because if he was from America, that would probably not have worked out so well, because waves were going the other way. However, if it was going from England to America, that would actually make way more sense. Another thing that I'm going to have to say right now is that after an overboard, after having been bullied by these two boys, who just said, eh, ha, ha, Abilene, 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 one of the law lovers, oh, whatever, they didn't do that, they just said, they just messed him up, like a rabbit, they just took off everything, except for his hat, and then they threw him away, and it's like, and in the meantime, Edward thought, is my hat still on? Abilene, 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 I'm pretty sure she's just singing in robotic voices, too. And then, he fell down, into the water, and he saw his hat being peering away. Well, at least that answers the question, meaning that his hat was not on him the entire time. And he sank and sank and sank while the ship went and went and went away. And all of that happened, and I'm pretty sure Abilene will never make the mistake of doing all that again, if he does find Abilene. And during those times, there have been lots of incidents of things that seem to have happened. One thing is that he was washed up into an old fisherman's net. And then the old grandpa fisherman came in, grabbed the rabbit and said, Hmm, nice thing. It looks good. I'll get my wife to fix it up and stuff. And then got there and, well, his wife fixed it up and turned him into a girl. And Edward was horrified. He was like, I'm a boy. But then again, when he thought about being in the mud all the time, compared to becoming a human, and living with the humans again as a girl, well, I'll... At least, that's better than being a boy in the bottom of a bottom of the sea, which is not exactly appeasing to you or anyone. No one wants to live at the bottom of the sea, except maybe the people who, the creatures who are living at the bottom of the sea. Maybe yeah, not on a seabed, but yeah. And so he became a girl, and then later on, the the girls, the the, the uh, grandpa and grandma's children came in and. Well, they saw the rabbit and said, What's this thing doing? I'm not discussing foul thing! I must get rid of it! I'm, that, that last part was in the brain. And then, when they finally had the chance, they just cook him and said, You foul loving thing! And smuggled him out of the house and threw him into the dump. And months and months it went by. And then, finally, there was this dog who actually smelled a real rabbit ear, a real rabbit tail. And, yeah, all that happened. And then the guy was like, Barking, of course. Barking all the time, of course. And then, well, this happened. The the guy who owned the whole dump said, Hey, that's my garbage! I'm the king of the garbage! I'm the king of the world because the world is made of garbage! 
and that all happened and the dog ran away with a china doll until he arrived back to a hobo and it turns out the dog's name was Lucy and it said I know you want rabbit pie but I can't but no cook's gonna make a rabbit pie out of this Lucy growled and then said because this guy's made a poor child China it's made China I reckon it's pretty expensive at least I mean the wires on the uh the readers have gone a bit weird because then you you can't really bend them well and it sticks up anymore and then that happens, and for seven long years, he became the hobo's mate. However, one time when they're in the rail car, the rail man's like, I'm allowing you along, but nothing about this rabbit! He took the rabbit, kicked the hobo in the face, and then threw the rabbit into the dirt. Out, just opened the railroad car, which was moving, and threw the rabbit. Shrew Edward. And then Edward became a scarecrow, because he said, hmm, there's a use to every useless thing you find. And he crucified him and turned him into a scarecrow. And then the boy came, he thought he was horrified look, he said, I gotta save you. And after his shift, he went out, unnailed him, unwired him. I mean, you have to admit, he does obviously look a bit like Jesus crucified, except he was a, he was a rabbit. Hopefully I don't get any comments about that. But I'm pretty sure if the humans knew about the story, they would be terrified of this guy. But they don't. So, unfortunately, they do not are not scared of this guy. And then this boy came along and he still he was the one who uncrucified him and got him away from his fate. And he brought him back to his sister who was dying for months and months and called him Jingles. And when she finally died, he decided to go and became a street man. Became a showman and then he went to the Neil's place and he couldn't pay for it. So he said, how about I get this guy to dance for you and I play some music too. And like, this is what I think about China Rabbit. Smash the head. And he smashed the head into 21 pieces. And then this guy came in and the last thing that uh, Edward knew is this. That he finally, finally was back into place. His head was intact at least. And then the uh, guy called said, the, the repairer said, hey, your, pe your head was stuck into 21 pieces. I'm pretty sure you wonder about the boy who put you in. Yeah. Well... Uh, I gave him two choices. Either go to someone else or get me to mend him, you, properly to your old days. And then, well, make let me keep it. And so, he chose option number two. We came in, took a look, and then months and eventually years passed by. And then suddenly there was this guy, this doll, who came in and s told him some good advice. Never stop hoping. And so he hoped and hoped and hoped, and eventually one day, there was this little girl with her mother came in, and then the little girl said, "The rabbit! It's a rabbit! It's a doll! Yay!" And the guy and the guy was like, "Hey, ma'am, she she's she's grabbing a very old and very delicate and very expensive piece of doll." And then the mother's like, "Okay, I'll, all right, all right, Maggie, what you got there?" And then she sees if everything she sees something in the woman's face. Do I know you? He probably sings. I'm pretty sure he doesn't write in a book. And then she says, Edward. She says his name. And finally, he's back to his place. He's been all around the world. Well, maybe around the States, at least. He's been a fisherman's guy. He's been in a dump. He's been grabbed by a dog. He's become a hobo's guy for seven years. He's become a crucifix a scarecrow. He becomes a, a, a little girl... Lo loved one and protector until she died and then he became the boys to for dancing and show business they got enough to eat and then got smashed in the face into 21 little pieces got given up by the boy to a guy who was mending it for a shop and then after all that finally he came back into the position of the little girl who is the daughter of a woman who at first loved him and was the person he started his journey his whole life's journey with he was happy he was content and was back into being Edward. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope to see you guys in my next episode too. So until next time, shout out and peace. Show this to your kids, moms and dads.